Pokemon Go. In today's adventure, we are actually on our way down to downtown Lake Worth, and uh, we're taking down pretty much all the gyms on this side of the street uh, that we can get to. We've taken down two already. There's about five or six gyms around here, uh, just kind of in a row, and we're trying to take down as many as we can. But that's not what today's episode is about. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of, you know, gym and, you know, catching some Pokemon maybe. Uh, we got some 5Ks on the way also. But the real thing that we want to talk about today is the fact that Gen 3, officially confirmed by the latest APK mine, and, um, wow, that was a really quick... By the way, we've also powered up Raikou a little bit more. And uh, we're right by the street, so I'll get back to you in a little bit. We'll get back to you in a little bit. Uh, Bryant Park, where apparently there's soccer and other fun stuff happening. But even cooler are the rare Pokemon that decide to just go away for no apparent reason. But they'll come back. So there's a Magnemite in this direction, and uh, we need Steel type Pokemon for the Steel Badge. There's Jigglypuff, which is kind of sort of uncommon, I guess. We're gonna ignore it because Magnemite should be right up ahead and then we're gonna head over to the actual amphitheater section and we're gonna get, uh, apparently there's a Mankey, a Mad, uh, Ponyta, and there was a Hound Hour back there too. Uh, we're gonna see what kind of nest this place is because usually this, there is a nest of some sort. Uh, maybe it's just random rare Pokemon, which is, you know, always nice. There should be a Magnemite popping up any moment. And, uh, these are kind of just cool, you know, Gen 1 and Gen 2 Pokemon. But very soon, coming to the game, will be Gen 3, which I should be able to get this Pokestop, but I'm not able to for some reason. Where is the Magnemite? Should be here. There it is. All right, so Magnemite is here, and then Gen 3 should be coming to Pokemon Go. Uh, wow. Okay, it's a little sporadic. There we go. And uh, Gen 3 is coming. We'll head over to the like uh, Pokemon Go hub page, and I'll talk all about that. Uh, but there's been two updates since the last episode. 77.1, which came with a ton of bug fixes, uh, which were kind of needed, uh, especially for raiding and for gym battles and all that kind of stuff. And then version 79.2 is out. Uh, let's see. Yesterday, 77.1 was forced, and now 79.2 was kind of uh, came out of nowhere, really. Oh, there's a Chinchou here. That's kind of cool. Um, and then so there's a Mankey. Okay. So maybe a Mankey next. That's actually really cool, because um, we also need fighting type Pokemon. Now, Steel and fighting type Pokemon will become more uh, common with Gen 3, because more Steel type and fighting type Pokemon were introduced into the game. And Halloween is quickly approaching, which should help with our Ghost Metal. And then, let's see. Oh, the Corsola region exclusive to Florida. We're going to try and find this other Mankey and then hopefully we'll get over to Gen 3. We'll find a nice little place to set up and we'll talk Gen 3 coming to Pokemon Go. We'll talk uh, a little bit more about updates and whatnot. See it. All right, so we are here at the Pokemon Go like official updates page and we'll just kind of show, you know, 77.1 that was all the big bug fixes, curveball bug fix, uh, a lot of raid, uh, the lobby bug fix, and also gym battling bug fixes, plus just other random bug fixes, and uh, also costume Pokemon, you have to double click yes, and then yes again for transferring, and you can't mass transfer uh, Pokemon. There's also a Pokemon Go AR photo contest going on. Uh, I don't have AR on this phone, which is very unfortunate, actually. I would love to uh, do that. If I did, I would just, honestly, it would probably all go to Instagram, and it would just be nothing but Pokemon Go AR pictures. Um, and then, okay, let's uh, turn off, rotate, and then, here we go, 79.2 for Android, and 1.49.2 for iOS, 
and basically it's just various bug fixes and performance updates so just quality of life stuff and very surprising that it came so quickly after the other one what am i trying to do here there we go so but i was watching some anime earlier Boku no hero academy oh yeah anyway uh 79.2 data mine confirmed gen 3 is coming for halloween now there were so there was a Taiwanese like interview with John Hankey and he and via Google Translate, you know, it was said that Gen 3 would be the you know big thing, uh, the ace up the sleeve for uh, the end of 2017 and 2018 will be uh, stuff to you know deal with uh, uh, a new battling operating system possibly and more kind of social interaction kind of the deals. But here we go is that for the data mine for 79.2 is Gen 3 Pokemon audio clips are now in the APK and Gen 3 is coming this Halloween. So how do they know this? Let's, let's just go through this. As a bonus, a new badge entry was added in reference to Gen 3 Pokedex entries, brand new Halloween 2017 loading screen, and some in-game Halloween music was added. And Gen 3 is coming for Halloween as featured in the new loading screen. Hefty... Is that John Cena? Okay. So, there's still no new moves and no new abilities. Uh, those, are st those are still missing. Um, but all of the other static assets are in there, which basically leaves us just probably one more tiny update or maybe a larger update for more bug fixes and such. Uh, we're just one more update away, basically, from having Gen 3, like, on us, basically. So here's, like, the coding for everything, new badge, the... Cancelled exclusive rating, by the way. By the way, exclusive rates are still kind of on pause for whatever reason. And then Halloween 2017 and Halloween Night music, which, I th that's really pretty cool. Like, I, I really like the music for Pokemon Go, even though I never listened to it. Um, mainly because I'm always out and about. But here is the new wallpaper, and I freaking love it. Because the old wallpaper for Halloween, uh, which just had Gengar kind of creep, creeping from a tree, but now it's Gengar, you can see some Zubats, you see uh, Murkrow, but more importantly, you can see Duskull, you can see Shuppet, you can see uh, Banette, and you can also see the evolved form of Duskull, which... I forget what it's called. Uh, okay, it doesn't even say the name. Oh, I thought it did. I thought it definitely said the name for it. But anyway. And there's also Sabli in there. Oh, there we go. Uh, Dusclops. How did I forget that? Alright, so all through, all those new Pokemon are in the loading screen, which is like the proving it's proved Gen 3 confirmed coming to Pokemon Go. The hype is not just hype, it's... A, it's for real and that is a dope loading screen that's so cool like one of my favorites is still the original Gyarados one from the very beginning and I did not like the old Gengar one the, the baby Pokemon that was pretty cool and how they did the the slowly changing loading screen that was kind of cool like if you picked up on it uh, the raid one that that was cool uh, but this this is this is really really cool. I really like this one so anyway we're gonna get back to it. We caught a couple Mankeys. We have four gems now under Team Instinct control. And we'll try and get some more gems and whatnot, but Gen 3 coming to Pokemon Go this Halloween. So excited. Actually, on the other side of Brian's Park, which has finally been reopened after a lot of construction work. So I went through there, 
can confirm Mankey and Hound Hour Nest. So, Hound Hours and Mankey are kind of sporadically popping up all over the place. And again, it's kind of a large park actually. Um, so, we actually are heading back over to uh, the other side of Bryant's Park and back over to downtown Lake Worth. Uh, we'll see where it leads. Hopefully we catch some more Mankey and some more Hound Hour. And uh, continue prepping for Gen 3 means getting more great balls, more ultra balls, raspberries, uh, pineapps, and all the good stuff that we still need again for catching a Pokemon, which is very exciting. Also, we're going to have to go through, delete a lot of Pokemon, uh, probably do some mass evolutions, stuff like that. Off camera, kind of grinding stuff, but new Pokemon are coming to the game, which means we need more items, more um, like capture items and less battle items. So it's going to have to be kind of prioritizing whether you want to kind of stick with doing more raids, getting more Entei's and Suicunes, or do you want to prep for... Ooh, out of breath. I've been speeding through here. I need to work on my cardio. Anyway, ooh, another hand out. Cool. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of prioritizing now. Do you want to battle or do you want to catch? So, me, I'm all about completing the Pokedex. And we have some 5k eggs on the way, but not yet, apparently. See you then. Alright, so we are back at one of the blue gyms that we kind of had to leave to try and find out what Bryant's Park was because I am actually low on time. I have to actually be somewhere like 20 minutes and I'm about 30 minutes away from there. So uh, we're going to take down this gym right quick. We have now four, five, I think we have like seven gyms right now, which is crazy. Uh, all in Lake Worth, which means they're all like but actually a lot of them are not even bronze. Some are, a couple of bronze. Most of them are not even bronze gems. So we're gonna go ahead and leave some Pokemon in them. Hopefully we can get some more bronze gems. Uh, that way when we come through here again, uh, we can get more items. Cause that's really usually when I come through here is uh, for items and rare Pokemon. So gen three comes, we're gonna be coming over here. Uh, not often, but we'll be coming over here a few times to see what Brian's Park has. Uh, and that's another thing I'm kind of like interested in is the eggs and also, oh, the battle's already started. Hi. Um, gotta take down this first ring right quick. All right, is how they're gonna distribute Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3. Because when Gen 1 and Gen 2 came out, I was kind of like, okay, how are they gonna do this? And they do kind of favor the new, the new gen over the old gen. At least that's what was Gen 2 and Gen 1. Um, like, it wasn't hard necessarily. It was harder to find Gen 1 Pokemon in some cases. Um, especially the ones that are already rare, uh, or at least uncommon in your area. Like, down here, Machop, Geodude, those were hard Pokemon to find. Um, so, they became even harder, uh, essentially, once uh, Gen 2 came out. Because, you know, all the new Gen 2 Pokemon were out and about. Uh, so with Gen 3, that's a lot of new Pokemon, uh, which is great for, you know, people that play the game, like for me and other, like for everyone. It's a big truck. Uh, so when Gen 3 comes out, I'm kind of interested in how they're going to balance it. I know there's going to be a lot of Gen 3 Pokemon out, and probably Gen 2, because that's the newer uh, Pokemon. And so for Gen 1 Pokemon, uh, I kind of would like them to be out of eggs and maybe become just nest Pokemon. Like you would only find them in like a nest of that specific Pokemon. Um, not just random encounters, because I would rather see more Gen 3 Pokemon than Gen 1 Pokemon. Uh, especially because like, me personally, I started at the beginning of the game. My grandma started 
when Gen 2 came out. So for her, she would probably want Gen 1 still. Um, and for a lot of people who put down the game uh, when it started getting kind of boring uh, the first time around, we'll put in uh, Blissey. And uh, there we go. Yeah, see, like, it's not even a bronze gym for me. We'll spin the stop. Uh, and we're, once again, kind of looking for great balls. Yeah, the nap berries are still kind of a trash item. Hopefully they do kind of expand on uh, the amount of Pokemon you can have in your bo in, in your Pokemon uh, beyond 1,000. Like, I think they added, what, like 200 or... Like something like that, like 200 Pokemon when Gen 2 came out. Maybe they add another like 200 um, to there and, you know, another like 300 to your items. I don't know. That'd be cool. But what am I trying to do right now? Oh, yeah. We're going to go through. We're going to check out real quick, just real quick, the gym progress. Because that, that's actually kind of cool in my opinion. But that's one of the things I really like. Um... This new gym badges thing, like, I really like it a lot. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, those two bottom ones are in Wellington. So seven gyms in Lake Worth, which is very cool. And that's really the episode right there. Uh, we do have some 5Ks on the way. And the only, basically the only thing we want still is Tyrogue with HP. We're still not getting it. But yeah, this is all, all these yellow gyms. That is uh, work of yours truly, which is fabulous. And that's basically the episode right there. If you did like it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. And as always, God bless, and see you for another episode of Pokemon Go.